Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you doing out there? My name is Tiberius, and today we are going to take a look at the LifePod Portable Gun Safe from vault -Tec. Let's go. Before we start the review on the life pod, I just need to give a big thanks to my buddy Wild Bill. Uh, this is Wild Bill's life pod safe that he let us borrow for the review. So thank you very, very much, Bill. It's greatly appreciated. Now I've seen pictures of the life pod safes before I did the review, and to be honest, when I saw the picture, I was kind of like, eh. Now the portable safe. Uh, this is absolutely one of those products where you need to get your hands on it and play with it to be able to appreciate all the features it has. Now I really think this is more than just another portable gun safe. Uh, let's start at the bottom, work our way up, and I'll, I'll give you some of the features and, and give you some of the reasons why I feel that way. Uh, first off, it's made from a high strength polymer. Um, and don't knock polymer. Polymer can be very, very, very durable. It is 100% TSA approved if you want to travel with a firearm. Um, and it will float. I thought that was another kind of cool feature. You can put up to two pounds of gear inside here, toss it in water, and it's still going to float. Uh, there's a bunch of videos online of people testing how well it floats and beating it up. And it seems to hold up uh, very, very well. Uh, it's available in five different colors. If you don't like the black color that you see here, it's also available in silver. Rose gold, white, and my favorite of the bunch is going to be this bright orange color. Uh, it's also right now available in two limited edition versions. You have an American flag version, and you also have a black multicam Pew Pew Coleon Noir edition. Both the American flag and the Pew Pew edition are $20 more. Moving to the keypad on the front, there's a four digit keypad. Let me light that up so you can see it. And that's how you go ahead and uh, lock the safe using that keypad. Also on that keypad, you have a battery indicator right here, and you have a tamper indicator here. If you type in the code or someone else types in the code incorrectly, the next time you type in the code to open it, this, this light's gonna turn up red to let you know the previous code was entered incorrectly. Uh, to lock the safe, it's very, very easy. You just hold down the lock button for a couple seconds like this, and you heard it, it's locked. Now to unlock it, we're gonna tap that lock button and then type in the code. Now you all know Bill's code to his safe, unfortunately. Um, these compression latches on the side, um, they need to be closed when you open and lock the safe. vault says to keep them closed. Uh, that's also how the, state, the safe stays dustproof, water resistant, and I think it gives the safe a very aesthetically pleasing, kind of rugged kind of look. Opening up the safe, you have uh, several layers of foam in here. And if you don't need or want, you can take these two uh, egg crate foam layers out very easily. Uh, there's also a bunch of accessories you can get. Um, if you want to take this back panel of foam out, uh, you can get the Ventura kit that gives you a pill case that fits in here, a short steel cable and a carrying case. Second option is the touring accessory kit. It gives you a slotted wall organizer for credit cards and that type of stuff, and also that same carrying case. And finally, you can get the Guardian accessory kit that gives you the same credit card slot wall and a much, much longer steel case. Um, right in the back of the safe here is a tether attachment point, and that's where you lock all of those accessory lockable cables down. You simply slide the tether point in, you shut the safe, lock it down to something secure like, you know, um, a seat in a car or uh, a bureau in a hotel or something that's not movable, something that's permanent, and that's how you would lock it down. Back inside the, the inside of the front cover, you have a couple things going on. Right here is your battery compartment. You simply push this latch in, it opens, it, it opens up your battery compartment. It takes a 9 volt battery and gives you up to one year on your battery life. On the other side here is your program button. And I'm going to read from the manual how to program the safe just because I don't want to uh, mess it up for you guys. But it's very easy. Open the safe, tap the lock button. While the lights are on, press and hold that program button right in here for three seconds. Type in your note, new code, hold the program button down again for three seconds, uh, verify the code a second time to make sure you have it correct, press and hold the program button for three seconds. This LED status will blink green and the safe, safe makes a noise. Simple as that, not very difficult. Uh, the other thing on the inside here, it has a key lock. 
Um, so I didn't go over the lock on the front of the safe on purpose. I wanted to wait until this point of the review because there's a couple things going on here. Let me get this part open. But you have a uh, key lock here. It comes with two, two keys to uh, for the safe. And you also have a micro USB plug up top here. So if you're worried about someone picking the lock on your safe, you can turn this dial right here with the screwdriver and it will disable the lock. Now the problem with doing that, if your battery dies and your lock's disabled, you can't get into the safe. And that's where the micro USB plug comes in. Um, your battery dies, your lock's in, uh, disabled, you plug in the micro USB, powers the safe up, you type in your code to open it, uh, then take all your stuff out and you can replace the battery at that point. Uh, another thing that came with this particular safe is this sling bag. Now you can buy the safe with or without the sling bag. And as you see, Bill chose to buy it with. Um, just like the safe, the sling bag is way nicer than I expected. When he said he got a sling bag with it, I was like, okay, cool. Um, until I got my hands on it and vault -Tec did a great, great job with it. Um, you can lock the safe right through the bag on their logo right here. There's a little hole that you can run the security cable through. I thought that was cool. Um, the front is a RFID shield so people can't get your uh, information from your wallet. All of the zippers have pickpocketing zippers, which I thought was pretty cool. They all have these different little D-rings on them and you simply just clip the zipper to the D-ring here and now people can't pickpocket and open your zippers very easily. So that's another nice little feature. Um, there's two pockets. This main pocket here is where the safe goes. You have a smaller pocket here to, to, st to store some more of your stuff. And then on the back, there's two more kind of hidden zipper pockets that do not connect. So you have one pocket here and you have one pocket there. And like I said, it is a sling bag, a single strap sling bag. Uh, this obviously is the black multicam, which I love. And it's also available in gray if you're not a fan of the black multicam. Um, let's play a game of uh, what fits in the box. As you can see here guys, we have a micro compact pistol, spare magazine with the Neo Mag, uh, spare mag carrier, of course my lucky rock, and a good sized knife fits no problem. Moving on up to a larger firearm, we have a uh, H&K VP9 SK, kind of a subcompact so kind of gun. Uh, we'll throw our Inforce flashlight in here and our big old CR. A KT knife and I could fit a couple more things in there very very easily. Uh, moving up in size we have a compact uh, CZ P10C with the spare mag. Again Neo mag spare mag carrier. All that fits no problem. You could probably squeeze a knife and your wallet in here as well. Last but not least we have a full size 1911 and no it doesn't fit. Why are you carrying a 1911? That's dumb. As far as price guys, you can pick up the life pod for around $109 and then the backpack is going to cost you typically around another $50. Now there are combination packages out there where you can pick both of them up for around $150 depending on where you buy it from. As always, there's going to be links in the description if you want to check it out, get more information, pick one up, whatever, check out the links down there. Uh, those links are Amazon affiliate links, really, really helps us out in the channel. You don't pay any extra and Amazon gives us a very, very small kickback for you purchasing through those links. Uh, I think the LifePod Safe is really great for anyone on the go, whether it be a plane, a train, a car, a bicycle, motorcycle, hiking, camping, paddle boarding, it doesn't matter. Anything you do, anytime you're out doing something uh, where you wanna protect your valuables, including a firearm, uh, the LifePod Safe would be a very, very good portable safe to do all of those things. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching my review. As always, it is truly appreciated, way more than you can imagine. Do me those two favors if you have a second. One, click the like button. Two, click subscribe. This way you get notified when we come out with new videos. I will see you all next time. Peace.